Hi, how are you? Thank you for stopping by. So we're starting a new project today. Um, I'm calling it Sun and Clouds. And I'm going to be using um, the release papers, but I had to cut them in half because it's a small diamond painting. And um, I'm just going to um, do a section that's long enough so that my camera doesn't have to restart all the time. Um, and I might, um, I'm going to try to record with my cell phone as well, but my cell phone only records for, as near as I can figure, about, um, 15, well, 15 minutes might be pushing it, but I don't know if it's because I have a lot of apps on my phone. I've gotten rid of the apps that I don't want on my phone, um, like all the shopping apps and stuff like that. I don't need them on my phone. I can use those on my laptop, but then there's other things on my phone that I need on my phone, and one of them is the camera, <laughs> of course. Anyway, so... Yeah, my hair is in the way in this because I usually wear a headband when I'm doing this. And the camera is very high. So um, I was looking back at some old videos I did. And I think that I used my cell phone. I'm pretty sure I did. I don't know how I did. Um, it was newer then. Maybe there was a lot less crap on it. Um, so I'm going to try for the, like this first section is definitely my camcorder. And I've been looking at other camcorders to buy. They're really expensive. Um, this one has a lavalier mic. I'm not using, um, I'm not recording sound while I'm doing this just because um, I have the fan on. I, I told you I live in a very small two-story house. I mean small, small. And it gets really hot. Like the air conditioner works fine. It cools the downstairs more than it cools the upstairs. So as you're going up the stairs, you can actually feel... Um, the heat you can you can feel it getting hotter as you go up the stairs so i have a fan running up there i couldn't stay up there at all without the fan um i mean the air conditioner blows on my feet when i'm sitting at the table doing this stuff but holy smokes i it, i think it just needs air movement so the fan and it's just like a, I think they're called box fans, like a box shaped frame with a fan in it. And that seems to work just fine. So that's what I'm going to be using. And um, so, yeah, so I've recorded the first section on um, my camera, on my camcorder. And I am shopping around for a new camcorder but so the first section's on the camcorder the second section i'm going to try my cell phone and i know this has absolutely nothing to do with diamond painting and i'm sorry about that so um i'm just going to get into it and uh, um and yeah this is not uh I thought that I'd already done the last rhinestone diamond painting, but apparently I have two or three more, and I don't know how many more other diamond paintings, but um, yeah, that's the fun of it, right? We're going to just do diamond paintings and diamond paintings, and I'm going to um, take some film while I'm on holidays, and I'll, I'll put that in. I don't know how much traveling we're going to be doing once we get to the cottage because gas prices are ridiculous. I don't know what they're like in any other province. I, I could find out, but right here, and oh my gosh, it just makes me want to cry when I look at the gas prices. But the friend I'm going up north with, she has a diesel car, so... Um, yeah, apparently, yeah, it, she can, 
We go up there in her car, and it is so amazing on gas. It's even better than my little tiny car. Um, it's absolutely amazing, but I was talking to her the other night, and she said that they're going to stop making diesel cars. They'll just be transport trucks that are diesel. And right now, the cost of diesel is even higher than gas. And I don't know why, because it's less processed than gas. So, but... You know, that's just whining about nothing, I guess. Diesel prices really don't affect me. Gas prices aren't affecting me as much as they did when I was working. You save an awful lot of money not going to work. And I remember a long time ago when I was young, and uh, I was talking to my husband about finding a job, and um, I had kids at the time. I stayed home. And then when my kids went to school, so we figured it out. Back then, the um, uh, the average pay minimum wage was, I think, $10. And we calculated everything, and it ended up that at that time when I was raising my kid and you had to hire babysitters, um, babysitter for two kids, so you had to hire a babysitter, and you had to buy your lunches, pack your lunches, whatever, drive your car, and it worked out to not earning anything at all. Now, I haven't calculated, um, I think the minimum wage is just over $15 now, but I haven't figured out what it would cost for a young family to go to work, and my husband made really good money. I think he just didn't want me to work. <laughs> anyway, um, I think that I haven't calculated it, but I bet you it works out even worse. You're probably paying money to go to work. If you have to hire a babysitter, I mean, because it's not cheap having someone else raise your kids, and it shouldn't be because you're putting a lot of trust into them. But anyway, I'm just babbling on. I don't know why. I just feel like babbling today. I would sing, except I don't want a copyright strike. And I'm a horrible singer. I used to make my kids cry when I sang the lullabies. But nah, that's just that's just life. It's good memory for me. It's good laugh. Um, but my husband thought I was a good singer. But the kids, they just cried and cried. Anyway, um, I hope you're all doing well. I know we have lost so much forest due to these fires. I was just, I just saw something about that, and I think it was like 10 million hectares. That's, that's bigger than some, some of our little provinces. That's a lot of forest to lose. But on the other hand, hopefully the forest will come back stronger and Hopefully we don't have to go through this for a long time because we sure put a lot of smoke up in the air. Anyway, um, I don't even know how long this that the video recording is. I'm just uh, I might if I end suddenly, I because I'm talking too much and I'm overlapping the video that it's going to seem like I just stopped for no reason at all. So I just want to thank you all for watching. And just in, in case I get cut off, I really do appreciate it so much. Subscribe if you're inclined to. I know some people just wouldn't subscribe for anything. I'm subscribed to probably over 100 channels now. But that's okay. I, I once, and the reason I do this, that I have... I subscribe to so many people is there was a woman that I used to watch about 10 years ago and I was subscribed to her and then I decided to unsubscribe because I was watching other things my taste had kind of changed and then a while ago I kept thinking about this video I really wanted to see she was uh, uh, one of these creators that did everything like everything I mean everything, and I couldn't find it, and I really wanted to see this video again. Well, I finally found her, and um, the video that I was looking for 
and resubscribed. <laughs> I'm never going to unsubscribe from anyone ever again. Anyway, I think it, we must be near the end of this video. I think I shortened it up an awful lot. Anyway, I'm really glad you're here. You give me a reason to use my voice because, like I said, I live alone. Anyway, you all have a great day. If there's, if there's, a, if there's, if I end this before the video ends, I'll throw in some music or something. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.